Hello and welcome to the introductory video about using Varin charts in a Java web application. My name is Miki and I will be your guide during this short clip. Without further ado, let's get started. The simplest way to go using Eclipse is to start a new single module Varin application. Let's fill in the details. To add charts, we have to add a dependency to it in Projects POM. The details can be found on the product page at vadin.com slash charts. We can copy the dependency only, as the repository is added by the Eclipse plugin. Now, that same product page has a short code snippet that shows how charts work. Basically, a chart has a type, and a configuration. The latter holds all sorts of options that control how to display the data, the most important of which are the data series. In real life, the data to display in a chart rarely can be typed in the code directly. Instead, they must be obtained from objects or data sources. Assume we have a service that lists prices for books in given years. Wouldn't it be great to show a chart with prices of books worth reading? Our data model is a bunch of POJOs, the crucial one being book price. It holds a price, a year, and a book it corresponds to. We also have services we can ask for prices. And for interesting books. Time to write some code that uses the service. Let's also set up a column chart to display the data. Now let's use Java 8 streams to quickly set up the data and add them as list series. We will need one series for each book and the data in the series will correspond to the price of the book in each of the years we are interested in. And there we have it. Running this code is easy. Just maven install and then maven jetty run. It will take some time at first because of widgets and compilation. Once it's done, let's point the browser to localhost and enjoy the view. But what about Vadin data model, you may ask? Fear not, for Vadin charts has container series. This comes in handy when the data to display is stored in a container. And most Vadin applications do exactly that. What we need to do is to say which property should be used as data points in the series and which as a category. And that's it. Hopefully this is enough to get you started. You can get more information from the charts product page, the Vadin book or in our forums. You can also get the source code used in this video from GitHub. Thank you for watching and happy charting!